Hello brothers and sisters in Christ. I thought I'd try this right here. Hopefully the wind doesn't get in too much. But um, Godhead, we have the Trinity. <laughs> but I want to do the title, um, why, why Have the Godhead? Question mark, we have the Trinity. Okay, what I wanted to talk about is how they're getting rid of the Trinity and warning signs that they're, are not rid of the Trinity, how they're trying to get rid of the Godhead and the warning signs, okay? First and foremost, how do you get rid of something? Okay. Remember I told you about repentance. You change, you, you subtract from the definition. Then you change the definition. Then you just do away with it all together. And then you keep, and how do you keep people away from repentance? You tell them it's a work. You basically say it in a way that makes it horrifying that they don't want to be part of it. It's ungodly. It's, it's not truth. Okay, same thing with the Trinity. You start out with Godhead. People are saying Godhead and only Godhead. Godhead is in the Bible, King James Bible. Godhead is absolute truth. Absolutely. So they'll say Godhead. And then what do they do? The Tr Trinity people uh, start coming in and start saying, okay, well, we'll say Godhead. All these pastors come in. We'll say Godhead. And then we'll say also called the Trinity. They still teach Godhead. Body, soul, and spirit. But they're bringing in the title, Trinity, saying Godhead, well, it can also be called Trinity. So what do they do? First thing you got to do is you drop part of the definition of what the Godhead is. You'll never understand how it works, but what it is. They bring in the Trinity, and they start mixing it. So they keep part of what the Godhead is, and then they add part of what the Trinity is. All these Trinity terms and stuff like that. So they're trying to mesh them. Next, what they do is they switch it around. And what I mean by that is they'll always say Godhead first, then they'll say Godhead, also known as the Trinity, and they say Godhead a lot, and they hardly say Trinity, but they kind of say also the Trinity every so often. But people get so used to hearing the Trinity word that they flip it around and say the Trinity. They always start with the Trinity, oh, also called the Godhead. See how they're doing it? And then they downplay it where Godhead isn't used that much. It's always the Trinity, the Trinity. And then when anybody attacks them on it, they say, oh, well, also the Godhead. And they're one and the same. Uh, they're not one and the same. I'll link some videos proving uh, in the, comment, or in the uh, description box that they're not the same. Okay? So what they do is they switch it around. Now you've got Trinity and the Godhead. And now I'm going to show you proof that they're taking Godhead out. They're pushing it over to the side and downplaying it like it's nothing, and the Trinity is all that matters. Okay, people, I'm going to show on I'm the, the so-called pastor that I'm going to show in this video. Uh, he's basically saying that Godhead is not part of the Trinity, and if he was standing for the Trinity, I mean, stand, if he was standing for the Godhead and saying I don't want anything to do with the Trinity, I'd agree with him. But he's not. He's saying Godhead ha just has to do with uh, God, uh, Jesus Christ having all the qualities of the, of the Father, and that's all Godhead is. And he actually says Godhead is not part of the Trinity, and they believe in the Trinity. It's major doctrine for them, okay? So, what he did was, is with the Godhead, he left out the Holy Spirit. Uh, 1 John 5, verse 7. There are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. That's the Godhead. You want to jump down to 19, and we know that we are of God, and the whole world lieth in wickedness. They're trying to do away with Godhead. Wicked, they're downplaying it because they can't get rid of it because it's in the Bible, but they're downplaying it and just, it's all the Trinity, it's all the Trinity. Godhead's not even part of the Trinity. And we know that the Son of God has come and hath given us an understanding that we may know him that he is true, and we are in him that is true, even in his Son Jesus Christ. This is the true God in eternal life. Little children, keep yourself from idols. Amen. The Trinity is an idol, it's a pagan idol. Okay. But let's watch this video. Like I said, they're getting rid of the Godhead. It was only a matter of time with the one world religion coming out that they'd have to downplay Godhead to the point where they get it out of the picture and it's only the Trinity. It's only the Trinity. Right? So let's watch this video.
Uh, these are two lovely, lovely verses. Uh, and, and I'm not, when I say that, I'm not saying others aren't lovely, but just the dynamic of them. Look at verses 9 and 10. For in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. And what, what is that verse saying? It's saying, in Christ you will find everything that's in the Father. The word Godhead there is not actually talking about the Trinity. It's, talking, it's not talking about quantity. It's talking about quality. He's saying all of the qualities of God are found in Christ. And guess where I'm complete? In Him. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lusts shall they heap to themselves teachers, having itching ears. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth, and shall be turned unto fables. For there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially they of the circumcision, whose mouths must be stopped, who subvert whole houses, teaching things which they ought not for filthy lucre's sake. 